Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in a brand new place. We are at Southside Pickers in Dubois, Pennsylvania. I have most certainly never been here before. We're gonna get inside, see what we can see. I don't know, it kind of, it's off the beaten path for me, that is for sure. So here's hoping, let's get inside. Here is the exterior. Again, Southside Pickers here in Dubois. And uh, hopefully they're gonna let me film. <laughs> Let's find out. And here you, we are on the entrance, you guys. And there is a sign posted. It is 20% off of any of the Easter. Now, today is Monday the 10th. So we are the day after Easter. Uh, but we've got a lot of variety in here. There's tiny, tiny treasures. So we're seeing some, I love the lambs right here vintage bone china animal sets eight dollars you know what i'm seeing the skunks the lambs i think we'll probably go ahead and get those we've got oh, there's some mermaids you know we're gonna get the mermaids are these frogs saying hello to us how are you doing um more skunks some dinosaurs even that's interesting you don't see oh my gosh there's the seal set oh we're gonna get the seals okay so seals what is in here um no. mermaids and that skunk and that lamb set we'll get those all right so we were given a tray here to get out our little family set so we're getting one two three four sets i think that is a fantastic deal really of course loving the mermaids they're immodest they're natural beauties they don't have shame look at the size of those green lucite grapes in there there's even some light purple I've never seen that particular colorway before. I'm drooling, that's nice. Um, what do we have? The Viking is at 38. Loving that green decanter back there. Viking epic drape. That one is at 40, ooh, with the sticker. Loving that, that Epern is only $28 for the milk glass. My goodness, great pricing, wow. So we are seeing a lot of trains. There is some more train set items over here. I don't know a whole lot about them. Everything is, you know, on aesthetics. This is really cute. It's very Putz-esque. The little cardboard. We have Pineville. The little station here, that's $5. That seems really reasonable, especially given the condition. These are, of course, $400. I must have a really good taste. So they're Lionel trains, certainly a name that I recognize. Look at the little stained glass windows on that. Really cute to see. Um, give you a look around. Here's our other angle. We're checking it out. Some Easter items. I know that Easter has passed, but you know, sometimes the Easter stuff can make great spring decor. Um, not in love. What's this? Original packaging. Little Easter eggs. Decorate your Easter basket. All right, let's see what else we can find, guys. Now here I see what I believe is a Titan, Titan art glass. Look at that with the two little yellow birds on there. That's a darling. Again, talking about great for your spring fourteen dollars i'm not mad at it the yellow birds are unusual definitely great for your jewelry a little trinket dish so i like that i think it's cute it's charming we're gonna go ahead and get that one to you guys and we do have some vintage toys over here obviously a lot of them are little wind-ups kind of japan pieces oh i like the robot back here he's fun little wind-up robot is 16 very like 50s sci-fi looks to be in pretty good oh well he obviously still works he's full of personality okay sir made in hong kong 
that's cute. Don't go pushing your friends off the shelves. Now you're a little cattywampus, huh? But look at this bendy deer. Wow, talk about full of personality. He is 25 for him. Oh, look at the lamp. Oh, the cow jumped over the moon. I love that. Oh, this is cute too. It's a nightlight, an Inesco nightlight. Interesting. Huh. Different subject matter, that's for sure. Okay, we'll move on here into our second room. Do you have some Fenton custard? Let's see. That one's actually quite pretty. I like that one. A little bit of the frit here. Um... Our little ashtrays down here. We've got our incense burners. Ooh, the snail is an unusual one. Oh. Okay. Where did that go? Right there. That brass one really wants attention, so you got the attention, but keep your lid on, sir. Keep your lid on. Hmm, this one's interesting. I've seen this larger, I do believe. 24. Huh. Little chalkware. Old Charles Dickens character figurines. Do it. Wow. Ooh, we've got a variety. Ooh, there's Christmas. You know how we feel about seeing Christmas. Look at all the head fa What? Tons. Of great, oh my goodness, that's only the second time I've ever seen the Mobley uh, kangaroo. Of course, you guys know that I do have one. Look at the head vases. My goodness, they're actually 35 35. That's really reasonable. Great price. Oh, she is pretty. Look at her. She's at 40. Oh my goodness. Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Not the biggest head vase aficionado. Everything, like the head vases I would get would be based solely on their overall aesthetics. Let's kind of switch over here, you guys. Hmm. Let's see, like that one's only 26. The small one. I see this black one back here. Kind of curious as to that one. Now, I don't know. I am not good with these old cabinets. I never, okay, I got it, I got it. Let's check it out. I like the ones in the black the most. I think that they're the most visually striking. There was a doily, okay. She's got personality, that's for sure. She, she's 40. Who is it? It's an actually an Apco. Oh, I love the glove. Do you see the detail on the glove? Hmm. What's this girl over here? She is 40. These are probably the best prices on head bases I've seen in a very, very long time. Oh, wait, let's put that doily back up there. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can find anybody else. Well, I didn't find anybody that was really speaking to me, so I'm going to pass on the head vases. I do see some mercury glass candles up here. These are 30 for the pair, which is pretty gosh darn good. Wow. I didn't expect it to be this full, you guys. All right, oops, salt and pepper shakers. Um, cute, but we need the really weird. Look at that figural oil lamp up there. Let's see if we can see a price. 125. It is, oh, it is mice and dress. Oh, they have it mice and dressed and unsure as to manufacturer or maker. That's a really cool one. Ooh, look at that mid-century. Ooh, look at that one there. The lamps. My goodness. All right, guys. I'll come back and we'll 
hopefully have oh look at all okay we're just gonna stay with it we've got more shakers over here personality that's for sure big personality okay we'll oh look at the master crafters these are great a little light up and she swings back and forth quite collectible that's big personality right there let me tell you what hey boys and girls so right behind mr big personality i did see of course this little bookshelf here and the first thing that i noted was the marbling on the pages popular in the 1800s let me turn it over now oh my gosh it's a big one it says health let's check it out first up price forty dollars medical book do we have a copyright let's see i don't know this feels like it's like 1940s to be honest with you 1927 hmm Ooh. Uh, oh ooh. oh the guts of it all look at that you can open it up. <gasps> Ooh, the brain picture of good health. <gasps> oh, cool. I know it's a little spendy, but that's in really good condition. Look how big that is. All those charts in there. Oh, yeah, we'll get that. Alrighty, moving on down here. We've got a display cabinet. Um, I like the turquoise slag, but 22 fair. Just not where I want it to be. My goodness, there's just so much. We've got some of the chained families here. Standard poodles, horses, skunks. Uh, blue poodle. That's only 14 for blue poodle, but... Uh, the poodles just aren't where they were, were. I will say that. Wow. This is fantastic. How are we doing on our Pyrex here? 32 for 2. Not bad. 30 for 2. That's... Again... Ooh, look at that candelabra. Look at all this goodness back here. I'm just like, wow, wow, wow. Stop it, look at all the toys. Oh my goodness, ornament bags. What's going on? This is a great place. Where am I looking? I don't know. Lucite? Look at all of the lunch boxes. Oh, the masters of the universe. That one started to stop at Michael Behave. Ah, oh, gosh darn. Looks like 15 acrylic candle. 22 acrylic lucite candle pair for the pair. I do have a pair of the, ooh. See, that's kind of cloudy. Not feeling... Oh, it's rough. It lived a life. Gosh darn it. Look at these Lucite candle holders, though. Those are priced uh, individually at 20 Some fun art glass. Good old mid-century sculpts there. Wow. Check it all out. Look at all the lunch boxes. Brandsburg cookie jar. Oh hey. Hey, kitty cat. Darn, she's 150. Look at all of those. The whole apple, American bisque we're seeing. I think we're like in the kitchen. We've got the, our juice pitchers over here. What do we ooh? Just the bottle. The whole Howard. It's just the bottle, you guys. Crazy Apple, the tea bag holders. 
some tins. <gasps> Look at this little jam jar. That one's 28. Wow. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is uh, seven. Cute little mustard man. Huh. We're just going to peek over here. Um, should I? No, because we're going to go down. Or, okay, yeah. We've got blow mold set up. Over here into the toys. Look at the little miniature sewing machines. Absolutely adorable. Some children's book. What's that? We like the antique ones in the fields. It's definitely come apart, but maybe it's meant. No, it's fallen apart. Um, what's down here? Some like little cloth dolls, more Japan contemporary esque sixties. Ooh, that Cupie's getting punched in the eye. Watch out, Cupie. Some Marx Brother toys. Lots of early Fisher Price. Look at all that Fisher Price. Some Raggedy Ann and Andy's. Kind of pan back here and check out on this side too. A little bit more of the kitchen stuff. Salt and pepper shakers. And the chip and dip set. Some jadeite. Huh. All right, guys, I will be back when we discover something. Here's a little something. We've got some paper pulp bunnies in there. They really range in price, 20, 20. Thought I saw, oh, look at all the pixies over there. Look at that big one. This one's only 10. I think it's because he kind of has some paint loss. I kind of like the ones with the paint loss. They just, oh, he has got a personality on him. $10 to save the bunny. We'll save the bunny. Look at the pixies. Stop it. No, you stop. No, you stop. Okay, let's see here. We got this unusual one. What is this? Sexy cat? Five dollars? Um, it's so weird. I can't, oh my god, there's a pixie riding a, a worm. Ooh. 30. Dang. Hmm, what's this one? A little yoga pose. He's at 26. This one is at three. We're looking for the deals. Ooh. Four. Hmm. Okay. Am I missing some Valentine's Day stuff down here? Some toothpick holders. What's down here? Kinds of little figurines. Not spotting anything. Okay, so we got these guys on the deal already. All right, so we're headed down this aisle, but we will take a little quick peek. See if we've got anything. But we can't cheat, even if we see it. We're gonna start here with our Fenton. Oh, look at that. 125, I love it. Pretty. Lots of the custard, oh, some blue satin, some more Fenton. Ooh, I see Halloween. Let me get down here. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Some girly candles, some salt and pepper shakers. Um, 
Let's see, 48 on the scarecrow, the big cat with the, oh, what? The candy container? I don't know, okay. We're gonna be very careful, guys. I got two doors to open. Let's see, how much is this guy here? 175. Now the trick or treat with the whistle. A little bit of the patina is happening right now. I might sound like I'm echoing because I'm talking into the cap. What is going on here? Sir, don't be difficult. Nope, still didn't get it. 85. Look at this. <laughs> what are you? It's one T. Is it Ben Cooper? Stop it. Is it early? Made in Hong Kong, Ben Cooper, 1973. Hey, boys and girls. I kind of really like that. I'm going to lie. Of course, I'm going to go for our most nefarious of nefarious. The devil. What are you? Looks like it would have been the top of a candy container, I do believe. Did I drop the price? No, I don't think so. Um, this one over here is also 85. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Got a little ding to his whistle. Okay. Ooh, who's this little creeper? Look at you, little creeper. He's 32. Oh, it's also a Ben Cooper. A jiggler. That's what these were called. Hey, by the girls. I love him. Alrighty, next door we do have a cabinet filled with milk glass. Um, I, again, I think, it just call me crazy, but I really see milk glass making a comeback. Um, even some of the more common sculpts. I think that it makes a great display. Don't give up on it. Oh, look at these. Whoa. Implements of mid. What do we got in here? Some little oil lamps. Sure. Um, schlaggy glass. Red turkey. The bee jam and jam. Or salt and peppers. My goodness, Michael. Okay, we're gonna spin back around here. Check out our shelves over here. Tons of litho tin toys. Tons of little Italian spaghetti there for us. Um, no, no, okay. We'll come over here. Little personal creamers, sugars, yellow depression wear we are seeing. There's a lot to take in, you guys. So if I'm not talking as much, bear with me. I'm literally trying to take everything in and take you guys along with me. So we don't want to miss anything, of course. Ooh, look at that mossy green and poly compote back here. I love this with the twisted stem on it. This is, again, 50 on that one. Perfect mid-century. Hmm. See anything? We're gonna peek down here. Don't know. Some cast iron. Okay, okay. Okay. I don't know what is going on. Cast iron erotic why cheers see anything else here oh the westmoreland with the beaded eyes i like that with the yellow eyes i do okay let's backtrack let's see what else we can find here some mini swung vases um 38 on the blue. I'm liking the blues. I don't know. It says six petal. Okay. It's more than likely Viking, but very well maybe. 
Oh yeah, stop on my show. Get away. Uh, but maybe Ellie Smith. Just check down here. We got some bells. Okay, and some steins over here. Lots of glass. Obviously our carnival glass. Some amber. Look at that. We got plenty of the jadeite green. Do you see any? No. Um, I do like this trinket dish here. Looks like it might have been a lid. That jadeite vase back there is only 18. Here we have the Jeanette. Let me see if I can get get that one out here. I like more of the decor pieces in the jadeite because you see a lot of the utilitarian stuff. Let's get this out very carefully. Mm. Who are? Oh, you're a little Westmoreland, huh? I like the, oh, look at there. Yeah, I'll get the miniature one here for 18. Let's see, just don't want to miss anything. So what we'll probably do, let me close this one as we look over here. Oh, and Tanya, these, I don't, they always freak me out. I'm afraid I'm gonna pull it off the track or something. <clears throat> Some of the blue acrylic flowers here. They're 55. <sighs> Cranberry, some reds. We're moving into a little bit. Ooh, what's, how much is that one? A little Fenton piece here. 30. I'm going to take it at 30. Oh my God. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. This thing is got some weight on it. Am I going to be able to get this out? Hold on. Hold on, I'll be back. Fear not, we got it out safely. So we do have the Fenton mark on it. I love that green. Oh, look at those greens together. Oof. Again, building that monochromatic look with different shades. Ooh, I love it. Let's see if we can find anything else. Some more Lucite candles up there. That's 30 for that pair with the gold. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna get out of the cases. Um, yeah, that cameo right there is at 60, so it's a little rich for our blood, but I love the cameo glass. Yes, I do. Shh. Okay, there it is. There's Christmas land. We have to enter into it with reverence. Quietly as to not scare away the good Christmas vintage. Oh my gosh. Don't get too excited. We don't want to scare them away. Do you see those acrylic poinsettias? Those are so tacky and perfectly. Oh my gosh. 35. <laughs> I can't get my hand in. little Noel set at 39 since I was able to make it down here without exerting too much effort I'm gonna stay down here you're gonna join me down here on the floor I can't make it in there tucked down like that though um... <laughs> Shanty books. Let's see here. Fuzzy Wuzzy. I'm so kind of like me. Santa Claus and the Little Lost Kitten. I feel like I've had this one. Oh, it's been taped back together. So has that one. Oh, well. But the prices seem to be pretty good on them. $6 each. Okay. We got them back in there. We'll stay down here. Shiny bright mini sets, ten dollars. Shiny brights, eighteen. Hmm. 
28 striped, huh? What is this? Are you? You're an itty bitty? You are a little itty bitty. 239 for a four foot. Yep. $10. I have so many of those. These look to be all silver. Um, let's see if I can get up here. Some more mercury glass. How much are these ones? These are in really good condition, too. 30. Um, ooh, right here. Left in. They did a whole suit. Ooh, that one's 50. I'm not even gonna... Darn. Package topper. Oh, there's the Empire. Blow mold saying a cookie jar. He's at 65. Hmm. A little army of girlies. Plenty of bull modes up there. Um, sun loving Santa's over there again. Great condition on that color wheel. A little bit of the amber mixed in here. It's down here. Didn't I just say I had enough of these? Then why are you looking at more, Michael? Stop it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Holiday miniatures. Knickerbocker. What? 1973. A little Knickerbocker Santa. Who was it sold by? A.C. Turner and Company. It's a little ragdoll Santa. It. Miniature winking Santa mugs. Oh, these are the plastic ones. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, glass Christmas trees. Is it broke? Ah, yeah, it is. <laughs> is this one? This one's not, is it? Hey, price tag, $12? I'll get that. These are really pretty. You can use them not just for Christmas, but you know, for your winter displays. Let's see here. I'm getting mystified. Raw. Look at that. American bisque. There's tons of mercury glass candles in here. There's even more lucite. There was a run on the loose one, Quanto Costa. Canada Double Four. Ow. I don't know. Those the glitter seems weird on those. Hmm. Um anything? No. Okay, we'll move on. And see what else we can find, guys. Okay, we're coming up on the side here. A couple of fairy lamps. There's their Viking Glimmer and the green. Um, 28 on that dark amber. What's that one? I have never seen that one before. Do you see it? That clear? Fairy lamp. Hmm. Very different. Big old air bubble. Oh, I'm not. It looks like a um, more contemporary. I'm not mad at it though. I think it looks pretty, but I'm just not sold on it, to be honest with you. Uh, I am tempted at this at 28, but I think I'm gonna hold off on it. I am truly, I'm gonna behave. We'll peek over here. But this is where we're gonna end. Cause we're gonna head down, oh no wait. Okay, so there's, we're actually are gonna come down here. Uh, we've got some popcorn. 
A bit more of the Mantiques kind of bar kind of thing. But we give it all a fair shot. Um, some more of that mid-century. Great Jardinier. Not my favorite colorway with the pinks. It just, eh. I like them to be a little bit more organic. Not overly, nothing there for us. We do have more glass. So we'll see if we spot anything over here. How much is that silver crust? Oh, 85. Not bad. Um, we do have some bittersweet right there, that compote. Hmm. My goodness. We got another glass tree. Hey, that one's only $12 too. Let's get that one too, because why not? Love a good glass tree, as I said just a moment ago. Use these year round. Don't get crazy. Oh, look at those pretty little jack and pulpits back there. I think these are actually candlesticks. Get this set here in that beautiful cranberry. Who is it? Oh, it's etched. It says something cranberry. Can't read that. Huh. I'm going to see if I can read the other one, maybe. I'll be right back. Can't read that one either and I don't see a price so they're gonna have to live back there in the cabinet if I can get them in there okay we're good <laughs> alrighty let's see what else we can find um, take our glass Christmas tree here we'll move on over here anything at the bottom near Second shelf. Uh, uh, ooh. Pink. Pink Fenton milk glass. Been finding a good bit of this stuff lately. And again, glass cabinets freak me out. Is this one locked? No. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Whoop. That says $22. Are you serious? Okay. We've been on a pink Fenton milk glass run here of late, you guys. No out of it. Definitely not complaining. Let's see here. Ooh, that pretty Fenton Jack and Pulpit 175 hand painted. Um, a very angry couple right here. Um, look at that gorgeous pastoral. 45, not mad at ya. Okay. I think that's it out of the cabinets, but definitely pleased to have found those two pieces. All right, it's like we're in a little boudoir right here. Hope nobody minds too much. So lots of little powder and trinket dishes here. Got our uranium satin at 38. Um, we do have some embroidery down here. Um, oh, I had this fan before. Mine was like in phenomenal condition. It's a dye, Putnam dye. I love the graphic on that one. Um, some scarves, etc., etc. And he's going to be cookbooks. Yep. Um, not really spotting anything for moi. Our cabinet here. Oh, there's Christmas in there. Let's get lurky, shall we? What is that? Oh, some, oh, ouch. 185. He's missing half of his face. Aw. I guess I could open it so we could see it better, but whoa! See, cabinets are hateful to me. 
but the little Holt Howard winking Santa sat there. Um, not overly in love with anything else though. Alrighty guys, well I am not spotting anything else and I was like I was overly entitled down here. Just left my stuff sitting on the floor. So with those two things, I'm going to take those up to the register and that's going to be it for today's shopping video. And I will give you my final thoughts. Oh, there is that Thousand Eyes Fairy Lamp. Let's see how much this one is. I totally missed it. 30 Duncan Miller Thousand Eyes Fairy Lamp. There's the actual lamp. Well guys, there you have today's shop with me video. Wow, was that not totally unexpected? At least for me, it was totally unexpected here at Southside Pickers, again, in Du Bois, Pennsylvania. If you're in the area, you're headed through the area, definitely make sure you stop on by. You won't be disappointed. It might be a small store, but as we saw, they made the most of their space. As always, you guys, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, you guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys. <laughs>